How to add PayPal Payment Gateway in WordPress 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about PayPal and how you can add a payment gateway of PayPal in your WordPress in 2023 in the easiest, most simplest way possible, okay? And it's going to be a really easy and really simple video. There's uh, going to be a few steps that you're going to need to follow. And I'm going to walk you through all of, the, of those simple and basic steps. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end. So you could fully learn how you can use this amazing trick with your uh, WordPress in 2023. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, to start things off, obviously, we're going to want a few things. We're going to want a PayPal and we're going to want a WordPress account. OK, now, as you can see, I already have a WordPress account. We have it open right here and you're going to make sure you're, that your WordPress account is upgraded. Now, mine is currently not upgraded, but you need to make sure that yours is upgraded. If your WordPress account is not updated, you will not be able to add the necessary plugins that you will need for this or uh, you will not be able to add WooCommerce okay and as you can see WooCommerce needs to be added if your store is upgraded mine is not that's why it's giving me an issue so yes do make sure that you have WooCommerce now once everything is upgraded you have an upgraded store with your WooCommerce and everything you're gonna make sure because WooCommerce has quite a few options okay it gives you different payment methods like direct bank transfer where you can take payments in person via BACS, more commonly known as direct bank or wire transfer. You can check your payments where you can take payments in person via checks. This uh, offline gateway can also be useful to, you know, test purchases. You could do cash on delivery. OK, have your customers pay cash by hand in front of you. Or, you know, you could just add a UPI QR code for yourself if you want to. A lot of people do that as well. But honestly i don't trust that one a lot but it only depends on you well yes once you add your woocommerce and everything you're going to move on to plugins okay now once we move on to plugins what we are going to be doing is we're going to come in the search and we're going to add paypal okay now once you add paypal you're going to go ahead and search and you're going to get this woocommerce paypal payments okay it's going to be by woocommerce it's going to be woocommerce official um plugin you're gonna get three of them okay you're gonna get uh woocommerce paypal payments woocommerce paypal checkout payment gateway and woocommerce paypal here payment gateway we're gonna ignore these two we don't really want them we want this one so i'm gonna go on this okay now once you go on this one over here it's gonna bring you here so woocommerce paypal payments paypal's latest payment processing solution Accept PayPal, pay later, credit, debit cards, alternative digital wallets, and bank accounts. You know, here you can see PayPal's latest, most complete payment processing solution. Accept PayPal exclusives, credit, debit cards, and local payment methods, etc. You know, as you can see, it gives us a lot of things. So, uh, first of all, again, it's totally free, but you're going to need to upgrade in your website. Uh, once you do that, you can see a lot of great, uh, you know, things. Streamline your business with one simple, powerful solution. Reach more customers in 200 plus markets worldwide. You know, you can offer subscription payments to help drive and repeat your business. So pretty great and uh, incredible stuff. Now, once you have added this, you are going to go back, obviously, in your payment gateway again. OK, make sure that you add this first. Once you add this, you're going to go back to your WooCommerce payment gateway and PayPal is going to be added in your payment methods where it's going to say accept PayPal, pay later and alternative payment types. From there on out, obviously, it's going to give you a setup widget right beside WooCommerce. OK, you're going to set everything up where it's going to say toggle to manual credential input. Now, once you click on toggle to manual credential input, it's going to give you um, five different things. So first of all, it's going to give you sandbox, which is to test your WooCommerce installation. The th second one is live email address, live merchant ID, live client ID and live secret key. Now, how do you get those? Let me tell you, you're going to come over to PayPal. OK, so once you come over to PayPal, you know, you can see all this digital wallets, money management and more. So. You know, prior to accepting live payments, you can also test payments on your WooCommerce platform in a very safe PayPal sandbox environment. So 
obviously you're going to make sure to tick your sandbox option when you're over here you know to test your woocommerce installation uh then you got your live address live merchant id your client id and all you're going to get all of that in your paypal home now obviously you're going to make sure that you um sign in with your main paypal account okay and uh, once you're obviously signed in there everything uh, what's going to happen from there, like uh, obviously your basic PayPal is going to look like this. You're going to go ahead on sign up. Okay. Once you go on sign up, you're going to make sure that your account is going to be a business account. Okay. Business account is to receive and send payments. Personal is only to, you know, send payments. So we're not going to want that. Let's go ahead and click on get started. Now, obviously, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and make your account, you know, legal first name, legal last name and everything. You're going to add all of the necessary details and do make sure all the important details are added because uh, obviously these steps are quite crucial because as I told you, these will give you your secret key, your uh, live business ID, live secret ID and all that. So it's really compulsory and it's really, uh, you could say, important and vital. So once we've gone ahead and added these uh, important things and uh, you know added these important vital steps to our procedures from there on out what we are going to be doing is uh, you're going to come to your main paypal um setting account setting center and over there you're going to go over to your business information okay now once you go to your accounts basic business information over there it gives you a few things so business information and right under that you get your paypal merchant id now you that merchant id is going to be a very secret key so you're going to go ahead and copy that and once you do that you're going to come here and remember when i told you you're going to have a woocommerce live merchant id section over here you're going to go ahead and paste that right into that and the reason we're going to paste it right into that is because the merchant id is quite important and then the same we do for the rest of the things like uh, you're going to go on your sandbox credentials as I told you in your PayPal and once you go into your sandbox credentials from there on out you're going to make sure to uh, add all the necessary things into your sandbox you know uh, basic sandbox uh, things and once you do that you're going to get your client ID you're going to get your secret ID and all that and once you get all of that you're going to add all those things into your uh, payment gateway setup and you know as I stated uh, before starting this, once you add all the necessary things in your payment gateway setup, you're going to set PayPal properly up with your WooCommerce. And once those are set up, your PayPal is properly going to be set up with your WordPress store. If your WooCommerce is affiliated and integrated properly with your WordPress store. So yeah, uh, once you're done with all of these things, that should be uh, good for you and that should be a piece of cake from there on out and you can start sending and receiving payments through PayPal. So how cool and incredible is that? So yeah, that's about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.